Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Have another Here journal for you. Leviticus chapter 5, after the exodus from Egypt. The Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through Leviticus a chapter at a time and doing a Here journal on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Leviticus chapter 5 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app, and then will be my here journal. Chapter 5, Sins Requiring a Sin Offering if you are called to testify about something you have seen or that you know about, it is sinful to refuse to testify, and you will be punished for your sin. Or suppose you unknowingly touch something that is ceremonially unclean, such as the carcass of an unclean animal. When you realize what you have done, you must admit your defilement and your guilt. This is true whether it is a wild animal, a domestic animal, or an animal that scurries along the ground. Or suppose you unknowingly touch something that makes a person unclean. When you realize what you have done, you must admit your guilt. Or suppose you make a foolish vow of any kind, whether its purpose is for good or for bad. When you realize its foolishness, you must admit your guilt. When you become aware of your guilt in any of these ways, you must confess your sin. Then you must bring to the Lord as the penalty for your sin a female from the flock, either a sheep or a goat. This is a sin offering with which the priest will purify you from your sin, making you right with the Lord. But if you cannot afford to bring a sheep, you may bring to the Lord two turtle doves, or two young pigeons, as the penalty for your sin. One of the birds will be for a sin offering, and the other for a burnt offering. You must bring them to the priest, who will present the first bird as the sin offering. He will wring its neck, but without severing its head from the body. Then he will sprinkle some of the blood of the sin offering against the sides of the altar, and the rest of the blood will be drained out at the base of the altar. This is an offering for sin. The priest will then prepare the second bird as a burnt offering following all the procedures that have been prescribed. Through this process, the priest will purify you from your sin, making you right with the Lord, and you will be forgiven. If you cannot afford to bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons, you may bring two quarts of choice flour for your sin offering. Since it is an offering for sin, you must not moisten it with olive oil or put any frankincense on it. Take the flour to the priest, who will scoop out a handful as a representative portion. He will burn it on the altar on top of the special gifts presented to the Lord. It is an offering for sin. Through this process, the priest will purify those who are guilty of any of these sins, making them right with the Lord, and they will be forgiven. The rest of the flour will belong to the priest, just as with the grain offering. Procedures for the Guilt Offering Then the Lord said to Moses, If one of you commits a sin by unintentionally defiling the Lord's sacred property, you must bring a guilt offering to the Lord. The offering must be your own ram with no defects. Or you may buy one of equal value with silver, as measured by the weight of the sanctuary shekel. You must make restitution for the sacred property you have harmed by paying for the loss, plus an additional 20%. When you give the payment to the priest, he will purify you with the ram, sacrificed as a guilt offering, making you right with the Lord, and you will be forgiven. Suppose you sin by violating one of the Lord's commands. Even if you are unaware of what you have done, you are guilty and will be punished for your sin. For a guilt offering, you must bring to the priest your own ram with no defects, or you may buy one of equal value. Through this process, the priest will purify you from your unintentional sin, making you right with the Lord, and you will be forgiven. This is a guilt offering, for you have been guilty of an offense against the Lord. And that was Leviticus chapter 5 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Now, for my here journal. First the highlight, Leviticus chapter 5, verses 5 and 6. The trespass offering. Verse 5. And it shall be, when he is guilty in any of these matters, that he shall confess that he has sinned in that thing, 
and shall bring his trespass offering to the Lord for his sin, which he has committed, a female from the flock, a lamb or a kid of goats as a sin offering. So the priest shall make atonement for him concerning his sin. So, what's my explanation? The Lord provided instructions to Moses for the trespass offering, which related to sins related to speaking falsely and not reporting a false oath. Again, we see the death and blood of an innocent creature had to atone for the sin. So, what's the application for us today? Jesus has provided the sacrifice for our sins, but we must accept Him as our Lord and Savior, repent of our sins, and faithfully and obediently follow Him. Reference Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Hebrews 10.10 10. And by that we will have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. Hebrews 10.14 For by a single offering he has perfected for all time those who are being sanctified. 1 Peter 3.18 for Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but being made alive in the Spirit. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. 1 John 1.9 If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins, and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 For by grace you've been saved through faith, and this is not your own doing, it's a gift to God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. Romans 3, 23 to 24 For we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by His grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So, what's my response? Thank you, Lord, for my salvation. I repent of my sins and strive to abide in you as you abide in me, to follow you forever, faithfully and obediently. I pray for those that do not know you. Amen. Amen. Now. Come on, you try it. Try some hair journaling. Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be so glad you did, really. Share your experiences with us. Comment below. If you don't know Jesus as your Savior, you really ought to read John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness. Talk to God about it. He loves you. Seek Him now.